I'm teaching this afternoon on the voice of God. I want you to please pay attention because I believe that in addition to all that you have learned, phenomenal speakers, that this is one teaching that for many of us will be an answer to age-long prayers. For many of us, this will bring perspective and confidence to your work with God. The voice of God. Psalm 29. Let's start from verse 3. Psalm 29 from verse 3. It says, The voice of God is upon the waters. The God of glory thundereth. We're reading to 9. The Lord is upon many waters. Verse 4. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaketh the cedars. Yea, the Lord breaketh the cedars of Lebanon. He maketh them also to skip like a calf. Lebanon and Syrian like a young unicorn. The voice of the Lord divided the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shaketh the wilderness. The Lord shaketh the wilderness of Kadesh. The last verse. The voice of the Lord maketh the hinds to calf and discovered the forest. And in his temple doth everyone speak of his glory. One more scripture. Ezekiel chapter 43 from verse 1 and 2. Ezekiel 43. Afterwards he brought me to the gate, even the gate that looketh towards the east. Verse 2. And behold, the glory of the God of Israel came from the way of the east. And his voice was like the noise of many waters. And the earth shined with his glory. The Bible is very clear as to the fact that the kingdom life was so designed that the advancement and the progress of the believer largely, principally, depends on his ability to be led of God, of the Spirit. The faith life was designed by God um, such that there is no possibility for meaningful progress outside of the voice of God. Hallelujah. The believer was designed to continually depend on the voice of God for leadership and for direction. So even Jesus, when he came in the flesh, he was very, um, very vocal as to his need for the leadership of the spirit. The Bible would tell us that after his baptism, the spirit drove him into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Then the Bible says he returned in the power of the spirit. Hallelujah. Probably one of the greatest Psalms that we know, Psalm 23, is a very profound Psalm of David because it captures the leadership of the Holy Spirit and the implication or the leadership of God, generally speaking. It says, let's look at it. The Lord is my shepherd. It says, I shall not want. He makes me. Notice now, this same Lord, being my shepherd, he makes me, he leads me, verse 3, he restores, he leads me, verse 4, he guides me. You see, so there is leadership, there is guidance, there is making all by this great shepherd. It therefore means that if you do not understand the voice of God and the nature of his leadership, you may be stunted in a position spiritually and it will affect every other aspect of your life. Hallelujah. There are many believers today who have not been able to walk in the fullness of their prophetic destinies, not because of rebellion, but the inability to hear and to understand the speakings of God. Understanding the communications of God, therefore, is a very, very important pursuit for any serious believer. 
Hallelujah. In fact, the Bible tells us in Romans chapter 8 and verse 14 that one of the seals of our sonship is that we have the ability to be led. For as many, he says, that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Are we still together? There seems to be a great confusion as to the concept of the voice of God. The average believer understands the implication of being led by God, but it seems that um, largely in the body of Christ there's serious confusion. Our lives and our results or the lack of it clearly show that there is something about this subject that has not been properly understood. Hallelujah. And so I'm hoping that within the times that we'll have to share, that God will grant us clarity and understanding as to the concept of his voice. If you believe that, please shout a loud amen. amen. What exactly is the voice of God? The Bible talks about the voice of God, but what does it mean? Now, please look up. The concept of voice is not limited to the speakings of God alone. This is the first thing I want you to understand. The Bible generically uses the expression voice, but then it is not limited to the vocal communications or the speakings of God. Are we together? When we talk about the voice of God, it represents, you may write this down if you're writing, it represents all the spiritual channels and the pathways that God uses to communicate his will and his intent. Let me take it again. That the concept of the voice of God is not limited to the speakings of God alone, but that it represents all the spiritual channels. The voice of God represents all the spiritual channels and pathways that God uses to communicate his will and intent. If you're writing, underline the word spiritual channels, underline the word will and intent. That is very important because the whole idea behind the voice of God or the communications of God is to make his will and his intent known. Please look up. Please look up. I need you to understand that the power of God, which is responsible for all the possibilities we enjoy in this kingdom. Are we together? The power of God is the principal sponsor for every result that we enjoy in this kingdom. But the power of God has jurisdictions for operation. It does not operate arbitrarily. The power of God was mandated by God to only function within the jurisdiction of his will and his intent. That means outside of the will and the power of God, I mean the will and the intent of God, the power of God does not have any assignment the assignment of the power of God is to make the will and the intent of the father come to pass that means you only call for the attention of the power of God to the degree to which you are consistent with the will of God it's important you understand this the administration of the power of God only functions and finds expression within the jurisdiction of his will it says when you pray you pray that your kingdom come how by your will being done in earth as it is in heaven are we still together that means if you cannot discern perceive or receive the will and the intent of God, you may never be able to experience the possibilities of God. This is why the voice of God is so important because his power follows his voice. You are the one that we praise. You are the one we adore. You give the healing and grace that are always hunger for. Oh, our hearts always hunger for. Are we following so far? So we have established the fact that the concept of the voice of God is not limited to his speaking 
looks, his vocal communications alone, but that it's a holistic capture of all the channels and the pathways that God uses to communicate his will and his intent. Please say after me, will. Say after me, intent. One more time, say will. Say intent. The entire scope of the dealings of God with man centers around these two words, his will and his intent. The purpose of spiritual communication from God to man is to make accessible to man the will and the intent of God. Hallelujah. So for this session, we we'll look at how God speaks. How exactly does God speak? Because there are many believers who are at a loss um, as to how God speaks or how God communicates. The Bible reveals several channels that have been used by God to communicate his will and his intent that we generically call the voice of God. In fact, Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 1, it says, God who in sundry times and diverse manners speak. Take note of that. Diverse manners speak. God who in sundry times and diverse manners speak in time past to the fathers by the prophets have in these last days spoken to us. So you see different channels. Sundry times, diverse manners he speak. Now he has spoken to us through his son. So there are many channels for spiritual communication. I'm not discussing them, but let me just list a few of them for your knowledge. Number one, the Bible teaches that the primary channel for God's communication as far as his intent is concerned is the Holy Scripture. Please write. So the Scripture is the principal channel. It is amazing that the Scripture that we have represents the voice of God. Are we together? And that from a child, thou hast known the Holy Scripture which is able to make you wise unto salvation, it says. The Holy Scripture. Number two, dreams, visions, and supernatural encounters. The Bible is very clear as to the fact that God uses dreams, visions, and supernatural encounters to communicate his intent. We see this scattered from Genesis to Revelation, whether it is for Abraham, whether it is for Joseph, the father, the earthly father of Jesus, hallelujah, whether it is for Pharaoh revealing that seven years would come with plenty and seven years would come with um, famine, all of these prophetic encounters dreams visions supernatural encounters number three the prophetic now proper the prophetic i think that should be hosea chapter 12 and verse 10 i hope i'm right on that it says i have spoken to you by the prophets so god speaks by the prophets the prophetic is a channel for his communication is someone learning now I have multiplied visions, he says. Let's finish the scripture. I have used similitudes even by the ministry of the prophets. Number four, another channel for spiritual communication is called the knowing or the witness of the spirit. Fathers of faith who have joined the cloud of witnesses like Papa Hagin would talk a lot about the knowing of the spirit. The Bible says the spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the sons or the children of God. There is a knowing. The spirit can bear witness with your spirit. Hallelujah. There are many other channels, but at least this one is just to be able to guide our understanding to see that when we are talking about the voice of God, I repeat again that the voice of God is not limited to the vocabulary communications of God like we know. Our concept of voice means sound that comes from the lips or the mouth of a man. 
But I'm telling you now that in dealing with spiritual communications, the most important thing is the transference of his will and his intent to the believer. That means at the end of whatever you call hearing God, if the will and the intent of God does not get to you, it's not God that you heard. It doesn't matter how spiritual, it doesn't matter how flamboyant, we can vet your hearing God, not by the accuracy of what you think, not by the charismatism that happened. Remember, there can be sound and rain, but then the voice may not be there. The proof of accurate hearing is that we see that your life evolves into the will and the intent of God with exactitude and precision. Are we together? So how does God speak? Hmm. What is the language of God? Does he have a language? Hallelujah. While, while I was in the green room, I was enjoying the praise and the worship except that for for largely for it I really didn't understand what you know from from a cultural standpoint now I was enjoying it of course but I didn't know the meaning of the words because for instance I'm not Yoruba by earthly you know my earthly connection now so there are languages if I speak something in Yoruba now I expect most or all Yoruba people to be able to respond is that true so what is the language of God if we are talking about the communications of God does he speak Greek does he speak Hebrew <laughs> does he speak English what is the language of God you will test what you are hearing now against many things you have been calling God said. So you said you heard God. What exactly did you hear? You should have the confidence to answer this question. What did you hear? For someone, he will say, God told me, I think it's time to move left. So does God speak English? Does God speak French? It is amazing that every nation hears God. So what exactly does he tell them? Please pay attention now. Are we together? The language of God is not Greek. It's not Hebrew. It's not English. It's not Yoruba. In fact, the Bible tells us Paul was speaking in 1 Corinthians 13 verse 1 that there are the language or tongues of men and tongues of angels. So we know that there are languages even in the realm of the spirit. But I guarantee you by the integrity of scripture that none of these is the language of God. It does not mean that he cannot communicate through these channels. But that is not the language of God. The language of God is not vocabulary. The language of God is light. Please write it down. Hmm. The language of God is light. 1 John chapter 1 and verse 5 already tells us that God himself is light. This is the message he says which we have heard of him and declare unto you that God is light. Not God has light. God is light and in him there is no darkness at all if it is true that he is light then everything that emanates from him must be light are we together psalm 119 verse 130 psalm 119 are we still together please the bible says the entrance of thy word give it what it didn't say it give it information the entrance of thy word just follow me carefully the entrance of thy words give it light. Then there is another kind of giving again. It now gives understanding. But leave the issue of understanding. The first thing it gives is light. That means once that light does not arrive, there is no possibility of understanding. The entrance of thy word give it light. Is someone learning? Hmm. Matthew chapter 17 and verse 5. 
the language of God is light. The Bible says this was at the transfiguration that while he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them and behold a voice out of the cloud which said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Then he says, hear ye him. My question is, were they not listening? So what did he mean by hear him? You would hear the Bible say again and again that he that hath an ear. Now remember, he was talking to people who were created in God's image. So what kind of ear is this? That he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith to the churches. Are we together? I want to explain to you something very powerful now and I'm praying in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, that your spirit will be alive to receive. I stand by the integrity of the Lord to tell you this. If you understand what I'm teaching you now, it will shift the climate of your spiritual experience to new dimensions and to new horizons. Are we together? I have established the fact that the goal of the speakings of God, listen carefully, is not just to supply information but to supply his intent and his will is it possible to have two gentlemen please any two gentlemen please come thank you just stand here everyone please watch you stand here sir you stand here sir face me now all of you watch this anything i ask you to do I want you to try to do it. Decipher whatever you think I'm saying. Are we following? Oh dear, I'm, I'm not. Uh... What did I say? He said I should come. What did I say? You asked me to move forward. From a vocal standpoint, this one interpreted what I said as what? Come. This one interpreted what I said as what? But both of them got the intent of my communication. Are you seeing that now? Please go back again. Watch this. What did I say? He said, come forward and go left. What did I say? Come again, spread out. Look at this. So, now... If this is the only mentor you have to learn the speakings of God, you are already in trouble because you are limited to his vocal expression or his perception of the intents of God. Are we together now? Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Hmm. Let's pray in the spirit for one minute. Pradeka balaka taska brende gebelego to siata. Savraska berede berendo siata. Someone is rising in the spirit. Following from across the nations of the earth. Light is coming for you now. Sabrateke paradeke palusiata. Years of confusion. Being demystified in the presence of God. hallelujah now watch this so back to our example this gentleman based on his perception of what I said he said come so if he's to write a book to document this event he will say and God said come when you now read this one he will say and God said step forward you now see why there's the synoptic gospel, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, all an attempt to capture the speakings of God from the... Listen, listen to me. This is very powerful. Both of them are right, except that it is a risk to absolutely depend on their perception to understand God. The most important thing is not their linguistic prowess or their vocal ability. That can help. But I am satisfied working with any of them because my intent and my will was successfully transferred. Are we together? 
when you study communication now in English or mass communication they teach you that the goal of speaking whether it's a verbal or non-verbal communication that the goal is to transfer the thoughts of the speaker to the audience or the listener the final recipient am I right on that so sometimes you may need to use the power of imagery sometimes you may need to use linguistic communication prowess sometimes you may need to use your hands like for people who are deaf and dumb how do you tell those who are deaf and dumb that while you are laughing they are laughing too what did they understand by what you said because while you are laughing they are also laughing they are not at a loss at all as far as communicating your intent is concerned it then means listen carefully that the language of God cannot be what this man said it cannot be what this man said although everything they said captured his will are we together thank you gentlemen so I said that the language of God is light but let me explain very quickly what is the dynamics of spiritual communication how does that light become understanding to the believer for you to understand this you need to understand the spiritual composition the design of man the Bible very clearly tells us that man is spirit man does not have a spirit man is spirit because God is spirit are we together and that that spirit is hosted in a body and that body and that spirit are incompatible because of the realms that they come from the spirit is from above this body was made from the door so there is no system of compatibility are we together now the mind comes that solical component made up of the will the emotions the intellect that is what creates the bridge between the spirit and the body the body is an instrument of execution are we together now that means that which the spirit desires through the faculties of the mind you are able to execute it this is so God communicates his intent captured in his light please listen let me explain to you now that light is received by your spirit man your spirit man would have received that light but you see it cannot be profitable to you because at that realm as light it cannot minister to your mind and your body there still has to be a technology of conversion so that understanding can come it is at the point of understanding that faith can be engaged is someone following now there are times that you know your spirit has received something from God you know by the witness of the spirit and you it cannot profit you because you don't even know what to obey you just know that in the place of prayer your spirit has received something all the components that accompany the speakings of God are there joy peace I know that I have received something but what exactly have I received there must be a system of conversion now watch this this is where your mind comes in in the body of Christ we have taught people how to grow their spirits but we have ignored the place of the mind we have ignored the fact that the mind has a vital role to play in interpreting the speakings of God now you are about to see the role play that as robust as your spirit man is receiving the light that comes from the communications of God will not give you the basis to manifest faith properly if there is something wrong with your mind the mind consists of the will the emotions and the intellect now watch this your mind through learning I wrote here and through environmental conditioning has associated certain words and expression with certain feelings let me explain to you what I mean that through learning going to school any kind of education at all and through your environmental conditioning you have associated certain words are we together now certain vocabulary expressions to certain feelings for instance if I say ball you can't think banana 
because you have associated that object. Are we together now? This is powerful. That means the healthier your mind is, the more it can create the vocabulary expressions that interpret the light you have received. Are we together now? Listen, if you understand this, you will know what happened, respectfully speaking, to the fathers of old. They received many things from God, but because they ignored transformation, they were not able to interpret the speakings of God with accuracy. So their prophetic actions came with a plethora of error. There was no purity in their interpretation because they ignored the place of transformation. And it's a mistake that many spiritual people are making. They feel because my spirit is in contact with God through prayer, they ignore the role that the mind has to play in accurately interpreting the speakings of God. I always wondered why Jesus, the word incarnate, when he came in the flesh at age 12, the Bible tells us that he was in the temple. Is that in your Bible? Learning under the Pharisees and the scribes. Why would the word be learning again? No wonder when Satan came, he said, it is. Hmm. Hmm. The assignment of your mind, therefore, is to give the light of God vocal expressions so that understanding can be established. Let me take it again. The assignment of your mind with respect to the speakings of God is to give the light of God that you have received in your spirit vocabulary expressions so that understanding can be established. In Ephesians chapter 5, I believe verse 16, the Bible tells us we can understand the will of God. Did I get that? 17. Be not therefore unwise, but understanding what the will of God is. There is no basis for manifesting faith until and unless there is understanding. If you do not understand the instruction I gave you, how can you obey? Because faith in one word is obedience. Any other thing that is captured in your faith equation, if obedience is missing, you did not manifest Bible faith. If it be thou, bid me come. He only came because he understood what was said. Like my example with the gentleman, remember? You see that their obedience was almost effortless because their understanding was fruitful. That means what many, the laxity in obedience is not necessarily rebellion on your own part. Is that you do not even understand what God is saying. 